Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to do a flip through here of this um, what's on your desk journal. Now, I think we did make some of this together um, and I can't remember now what bits we made together, when we made it together or anything else. Um, or maybe those videos haven't even gone up. So I'm going to just apologise in advance. Obviously, I film ahead and, you know, I kind of can't keep track sometimes of what I've done when. So, yes, I'm not sure whether you've even seen some of these pages or whether this is going up ahead of time. Um, but, yeah, we have definitely done some on video. Whether or not you've seen it is a whole other thing. So, this is a very, very, very eclectic journal. Um, I, I would call it a sort of what's on my desk journal. Absolutely love, love, love how this has turned out. I'm often very, very um, kind of matchy-matchy when I make journals and I struggle to be, you know, eclectic and things with how I make them. However, when I do, you know, on the odd occasion that I do manage to, um, you know, pull it off to some extent, I always feel so thrilled. So that's how I feel about this one. So it is a soft cover. Um, now, the closure is just this lace. Obviously, you could untie it. I'm not even going to untie it because it's stretchy lace. So it just can slide on and off. And what I did, I just put one of those little tassels because it just, how good is that colour match with that fabric? Um, so that just ties around there. Now the front cover is, like I say, it's fabric. Um, this is some gorgeous fabric. I think this was gifted to me by the lovely Laura. And um, I coffee dyed the fabric. I've put some lace on here. And then on the front, I just kind of collaged up some things. We've got a cluster here and some bits from my pink lady kit, um, some lace up here, and then a bit of fabric ruffle in the same fabric, uh, a pretty lace bow. And then up here, we've got one of those fabric hearts, which we made in a tutorial. And also we've got one of those little gems, which we also made in a different tutorial. Um, and then we've got a little ribbon kind of banner thing there as well now that's all held on with the bulb pin if you didn't like those you thought that it was too bulky or perhaps you thought it you know didn't complement it they're just with a bulb pin you could take those off now going inside the journal itself is bound together with embroidery thread and then it's attached to the cover with elastic so if for you know if for any reason you didn't like the cover you didn't you know you didn't want it in that cover the whole journal just slips in and out of the cover. Okay, so I'm not going to take it in and out right now, um, but it does it does pull in and out. So, you know, if you didn't want to have it in this cover or, you know, when you're working in it, maybe, maybe you wouldn't want to have it in the cover, you could just take it out. So on the inside of the front cover, absolutely love this. You've got um, lace down the spine and then you've got here, this is some collage masterboard. Um, with some clustery bits here and then tucked in the side so it's a pocket and tucked in you've just got a very basic tag this is just literally some double side printed you know digis and I just cut it into a tag shape so that just goes into there like that and you've got some lace trim and this is all collage in the background and then on the facing page you have got now again this quite a while since i've made this so it's hard to always remember right you've got some of my um oh what is this vintage header pieces i think from my principles um printed onto quite thick ish paper and just made a pocket there um and then attached with a brad are a whole bunch of different pieces of paper which, you know, provide not only, you know, lovely journaling space, but they look super attractive and really interactive as well. Then you've got some of that fabric ruffle, which again matches the outside cover. So lots of continuity and, um, you know, continuation of the theme. This paper here, I can't even remember now what the kit's called, but that's from, it might be Memory Lane, um, but that's all been coffee dyed. Then you've got this. This is from my, I think, Amaranthine Loveliness, I think. Um, and it's been coffee dyed again it's just literally folded into thirds and tucked in for journaling space there and then going over the page we have got sorry we've got threads galore here so let me just take some of those off um, right going over the page we have got here paper clipped on which actually now I'm thinking ah this was paper clipped no it wasn't no ignore me that was not paper clipped this however is 
So this is just a little um, envelope that I've made with some of the Country Cottages papers. It's just been stitched on the sewing machine. And then you've just got a little stamped piece here and then just tucked into there. I just put, again, just a journal card. That's just from some printed pieces there like that. Okay. And yep, close that. And that just paper clips on. And then you've just got some more fabric ruffle. This here is some of that gorgeous, um, oh gosh, what was the name? Haberdashery um, paper pad. So, yep, absolutely love that. And it just makes such a gorgeous kind of page in a journal. And then just made a little cluster that I've popped on just as a tuck spot. Again, just popped on a couple of bits of printables there. They're from the Gilded Blues kit. It may just go in like that. Plain for journaling, this is some vintage ephemera from some vintage book. Then you've got some of that internal envelope page. This is just some printable. And then here you've got some of that collage masterboard, which we made together with the, um, you know, glossy accented bits. So that's what that is. You've got some lace trim and things. And then in here, you've just got a very little scrappy kind of pad. Again, it's just got a variety of little bits and then some lace. You've just got it attached there with a staple. So very, very cute, I have to say. And it just goes in there. So although this is very different style for me because it's not a matchy-matchy journal, I think it does all match, you know, pretty well and come together anyway. Um, as I say, I turned this page and thought, oh, I'm not sure about this page. No, I, I do love this page. So, but yeah, it didn't seem like it was quite as matchy-matchy as the rest of it. Um, so, plain for journaling here. And on this page, we've got a large pocket, I think. Yep. So, we've got some of that hand-dyed lace. This was some of the lace that we dyed. Um, I've got a couple of my bright flowers there, my bright roses from the Bright Roses kit. Stamped image there with some lace and some vintage book page. More of that fabric ruffle and a little flower trim. And then tucked into this large pocket, you've just got some genuine vintage ephemera, which was a page from a ration book. So that just tucks into the pocket there. Oops. And then turning the page over, on the back of there is some paper from my Victorian gallery kit, I think. Um, and that's been coffee dyed. And then you've got a little flip up. Again, this is paper, I think, from the haberdashery kit, I think. Um, and then you've just got a little... I'm trying to remember what this was. Ah, right. So a little ticket piece there which I folded round. So this is from my Regal Teal, I think it's called. Um, and yeah, I just made a little pocket. So put in some of my Gilded Blues paper, a tag there. Again, another one of those bright roses and then this little ticket piece, which goes into there and then tucks just neatly behind that rose to hold it in place. More little scrappy bits and pieces stapled and alongside a genuine vintage piece there. Very fragile, this one. Um, I don't know what date it's got on it. I can't actually see a date right now. Uh, um, oh, 1952. So not hugely vintage, actually, but it feels very fragile. So just, you know, just to say kind of you'd have to be a bit careful with that. Um, and that just tucks into the top. Some lace here. I love this lace. It's so gorgeous. Um, plain for journaling there. And then you've got some fabric ruffle down here. And this is a page from, again, the Amaranthine Loveliness. Um, a little bit of torn stuff there for interest. A little cluster here again, just looking gorgeous on that, um, you know, craft coloured paper. Some vintage ephemera. This is some vintage fly sheet. Look at that beautiful writing on there. I think it says... Oh, I thought it said Priscilla. It says Richard something. Anyway, gorgeous, gorgeous writing. Um, and then a piece here from the Myrtle Cottage kit. And then here you've got some of my food coloured paper in this lavender colour. And then here I've just paper clipped on this gorgeous piece. Now I'm surprised that I've actually brought myself to use this. Oh, and now I find I've not stapled the pages in. So... I do apologise. I will try and make an effort to remember to staple these, but I have to apologise now. I probably won't remember because as soon as I stop filming, you know, I'm doing other things. By the time that, you know, I've done those, I will probably not remember that this is not stapled in. So, 
yeah, it just needs a couple of staples basically to hold those extra pages in. But then you've got a variety of pages here. And then I just absolutely love, 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 love this. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So this is just a page from my Gilded Blues kit. And then this, I think this was a, oh gosh, um, oh, maybe a Kazercraft um, little die cut piece or something. And just with that lace and those flowers, you know, which the flower trims I've actually got in my shabby uk website. Um, but none of those things really should go together, should they? But doesn't that just look gorgeous? I, I don't know whether it's just me, but <laughs> I mean, I think they just look wonderful together. Even though actually by rights, none of those things really complement each other at all, but it looks really pretty. Then here I've got a cluster here using some of my um, umbrellas from my umbrellas kit. And that's just acting as a tuck spot for, again, another one of those little scrappy kind of clustery pieces. Goes in there. Um, here, <clears throat> here we've just got um, a pocket here. This is um, just from some of my papers. I can't remember the name of the kit. And then we've just got a couple of bits here from some more printable. And then here, this is just some vintage um, documents from kind of a plain vintage notepad just some lace and things down there and obviously tucked those in as well so it's kind of an interesting little bundle to have in the pocket and then there's just a flap going over there again just for more interest so it looks kind of more more interesting really when you look through um and that just opens out like that absolutely love that cluster on the front i made that ages ago and i've been hoarding it um, then we've got some coffee dyed uh, tracing paper, which I've also stenciled over with some, um, you know, heavy gesso. Again, yes, I did that a long time ago and I have been hoarding that because I just love how it looks. Oh, and just makes a lovely page in here. And then we've got um, some vintage book page and then here some um, printable, which is being coffee dyed. Here, a little flippy kind of ensemble there um coffee dyed obviously page on there and some lace trim at the top and then here we're in the center of the signature wow what a feast for the eyes i just love this page so much now by rights nothing on this page really should go together at all um but to me this page really does work <laughs> let me know below what you think do you think it works or are you like oh what's she talking about it does not work um so these are my pink prairie papers in the background and this is my, I think, the Isabella kit. Yeah, I think. Um, and then some book page and things, some curator's collection. You know, nothing there really should go. But to me, it looks gorgeous on that page. You know, just absolutely a feast for the eyes. And you've got the gorgeous, um, you know, lilac lace there running down. This is just a flip out. So you open it up, you can journal in there, you could add some extra pages, you know, however you wanted to use this. On this side, this is from my Victorian gallery um, kit. But yeah, don't you just love how that looks? Then you've just got a tag there made using my Gilded Blues papers. That just goes in there like that. And then on this side, this is just um, like a decorative edge strip, but I've used it like a belly band. Again, another one of those little clustery pieces. Oops, loving those. And they just work brilliantly. And obviously this was a kind of what's on my desk journal. So we've got lots of things like that because I was just gathering things up. Some lace trim at the top. And obviously this has got the lilac there. Now this paper, I think is even from my, um, oh, the Halloween kit. I can't remember even now what I called it, but last year's Halloween kit. I think it's even from that. So, I mean, really weird, bizarre combination of things. But, you know, just to me, I think it looks really pretty. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Then going over the page, we've got another little cluster here made using the umbrellas. Um, again, it is a tuck spot. And again, I have not put anything in there. So let me just grab a couple of bits. So I've just got some tickets here. Oh, I'll just put a couple of tickets in like that, okay? Uh, some the other side of that, the other side of the vintage book page, and of course the other side of this tracing paper with the vellum, uh, the, you know, um, texture paste uh, gesso. Then we've got this lovely pocket here, and again, a bunch of clustered up stuff in there. 
that just tucks into that pocket there and then you've got a cluster on the front and then a genuine vintage piece there tucked in at the back um some more of that lovely fabric ruffle and oh my goodness don't you just love how this looks so i'm just going to bring this up to the camera oh that's one of those ribbon banner pieces and it's with a cabochon that's been um patinaed so it's kind of purples now and then it's just got one of my circle pieces with the florals inside doesn't that look gorgeous hmm love it absolutely yummy on this page you've got a massive tag which has just literally been paper clipped on so you've got a whole bunch of different things going on on this tag but it's essentially decoupage napkin in the background and then all different things going on on it sorry what blue threads again um all the things going on it including a wax seal and then down here you've just got a ticket piece just literally glued onto the page just you know for interest basically so as it looks pretty that just paper clips on like that the lilac paper obviously and then here you've just got a little tuck spot here and then this gorgeous envelope flip down which this is I think from I can't remember the name I think it's the Rutherford Grange papers oh my gosh don't you love that it looks so yummy doesn't it with that wax seal those colors just look lovely together so that just tucks in to there and then you've got the rest of that vintage fly sheet, more of the, you know, craft colour card and then a banner up here. And that's just holding in just a stamped image there. That just goes up like that. More of this amaranthine loveliness paper. And again, a bit more of that ticket kind of just glued on. Um, a little piece there. And then this, oh my goodness, don't you just love how this looks? So yeah, this is, I think, from that Joey Defee, you know, edge strip pieces and i decorated it up with various different things lots of lace going on on this piece and one of my um you know circles there absolutely love 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 how that looks and it's just glued top and bottom like a belly band and then in here we've just got one of those um oh gosh what are these good matchbox books like that so that just tucks tucks into there and again I just have stapled on this is a little stamped image and this is some genuine vintage ephemera which is stapled onto there so looks just gorgeous doesn't it and then going over the page this one is a large pocket i think if i recall so we've got yeah things in this pocket and then it's also a tuck spot in there so the things going in again just kind of stapled a bunch of things together and then when I tuck it into that pocket, so as it doesn't all drop in and then, you know, get lost, never to be seen again. If you just kind of hook it over, it stops it falling right in. And then here, just done one of those little fold outs again. And that's just from my vintage invoice printables, all coffee dyed, all feels super vintage. And that just self tucks into there like that. And then here, Oh, and some fabric ruffle down there as well and some lace trim. Oh my goodness, and this lovely um, piece here. Now this is some snippet roll, which yes, again, I'd made it ages ago and I've been hoarding it. <laughs> so pretty, isn't it? Um, so that's up there as a tuck spot and just a bunch of things just stapled on and tuck up there. Then here we've got, um, oh gosh, what do you call these? A policy envelope, that's what they're called and we've got here some more stapled together little bits and bobs so they just go in there and again the same thing you know if you kind of put these in and just hook the final thing over it just stops it slipping in lots of things clustered up over the front and then another little you know scrappy bunch in the background i love this one i have to say really lovely so that just goes in there, fabric ruffle, and then here, obviously the rest of that um, coffee dyed paper, the rest of the internal envelope, the rest of that book page. And then here, this is just that haberdashery and what I've done, I've just left it folded in so you can unfold it to a journal. Popped a cluster on the front with some lace trim. And then here, obviously you've got more of that gorgeous paper from the haberdashery book and a little label. 
And then here again, I just paper clipped on this massive tag. Don't you just love this? I mean, I love, love, love a massive tag, I have to say. Now on the back, this is just book page and I've just kind of painted over it very roughly. You can see through it still, um, but I think it's fine. It's even got like a little torn bit there. Again, you know, it doesn't bother me, but I do want to point out these defects because, you know, I mean, I'm calling them defects. I mean, I don't personally feel that they're defects because I feel that's what a junk journal is. But I do want to point them out because if you, you know, would not like this kind of appearance, I, you know, I need to kind of point it out. Um, the front of the tag, absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely just love it. This lace trim and, oh, yeah, the flowers, just everything. Just really, really, really like it. And that just clips on there and then some fabric ruffle down the bottom. And then here we are. This is the back of that journal. Remember, it comes in and out. It's, you know... It's just attached in here with the elastic. So remember that it's completely removable. Here we've got a massive pocket. Again, some bits and pieces clustered up here with some handmade paper by the looks of things. Um, you know, hand inked paper. And then here we've just got a little fold out piece just using some vintage book page. I've glued two sheets together to kind of form like a little, you know, sturdier piece and then made a little booklet with a couple of sheets in there and then just clustered up some things on the front and some lace. Looks very pretty. Oh, it's just got some hot glue stuck on there. So, yeah, I'll try and just pick that off. Okay, and that just goes into there. And then on the very inside of the back cover, you've got lace trim running down the back. Obviously, this is all collaged up like it is in the front. So the front and the back are, you know, kind of matching, even if they're not matching colour wise, they're matching in concept. Um, and then you've got a little fold out piece here that you could journal on. It just holds together, obviously, with the uh, baker's twine. So, yeah, I'll just do that back up. Now, you can probably see you need to be careful because when this opens out, that butterfly wing, you know, bends round. That's just how that is, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, just something to be a bit aware of. And then it's also a pocket with, yeah, you guessed it, another one of those little scrappy pieces. But this time we've got a folded piece at the back like that. Okay, And that just goes in there. So, yeah, I mean, it's absolutely not my kind of normal type of style. It's very kind of eclectic and, you know, bunched together. But like I said before, actually, when I have done these types of journals, they turn out to be one of my favourite journals. You know, um, I really do love the eclecticness of them. Um, so, yeah, let me know below what you think. You know, do you like it? Um, you know, is it your type of thing? And um, yeah, this will be listed on my shabbydabbydoodar.co.uk website. Um, and again, and I do say this kind of, you know, or I've said this before, obviously my videos go up overnight. So the journal will be listed when I've gone to bed, it will be listed for sale. Um, obviously, I can't guarantee it's still going to be there, you know, when the, um, you know, when the video goes out. It, it may well be because I, you know, I don't know whether people really are going onto my website that frequently, but I just would like to kind of mention that. So, um, yeah, as, as I'm putting this on, I would, you know, expect it to be available. I don't know whether it will still be available, obviously, you know, later on. So, um, yeah, if you wanted to check it out, head over to my website and have a look by all means. And yeah, let me know below what you think. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks then. Bye.